on this week's KSP News Show. With Squad gearing up for the release of 1.0, what would you like to see added into the game if you had control of development? And, aside from KSP News, what else would you like to see me do on this channel? All that and more on this slightly off-topic KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jin Lee Kerman! Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbanauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman. Welcome back to the KSP News Show. Unfortunately, there hasn't been all that much news this week with regards to KSP 1.0. If you read the dev notes, it's mostly just QA testing, mostly just finishing off some odd odd odds and ends, ready for what I'm expecting is a huge announcement in the dev notes of some sort tomorrow. But again, don't quote me on that, that is just a suspicion. So today, we are going to be having a bit more of a discussion video. Firstly about KSP, but then we're going to drift slightly off topic and we're going to talk more about what you want to see on this channel. So yeah, let's get straight into that. So yes, as I said, this episode is going to be mostly based on your guys' feedback, which I know you guys are amazing at giving. Just looking at the comments in past videos recently has shown that you guys, that you really want to see if you can make a difference with this game and have your, your say heard in, the opi in your opinions in the comments down below. And I really appreciate that. It's kind of a... It's kind of a nice way of interacting, and I'm really glad that we've grown this community over the past couple of days. Um, couple of days? Couple of months? What am I talking about? <laughs> so, what I wanted to know is, what would you guys, if you had control of development of Kerbal Space Program 1.0's development cycle, what would you add into it? Obviously, I know there's going to be a loads of people who say a multiplayer, as well as the resources and the aerodynamic system, but if you could add anything, it could be absolutely anything. For all you know, it could be, I don't know, a, a football that you can kick around on Gilly. I don't, I don't know. It could literally be anything that you could add into Kerbal Space Program 1.0. Any game mechanic, any specific parts, what would you add? Personally for me, I think I would add visual enhancements into the game. Nothing major like the Renaissance package or Astronomer's Visuals. Just something nice and subtle such as clouds. Um, maybe even just thin wispy clouds um, like the current, the current iteration of um, Astronomer's Visuals. Just some, something thin, just something to give the atmosphere a bit more of a, um, a bit more of an authentic look. Because I realise although Kerbal Space Program is meant to look sort of art cartoony, um, with regards to what the planets look like and everything is supposed to go for that sort of style. At the end of the day, I think that it doesn't take all that much more memory um, to add clouds in, especially if they're of the um, consistency of the ones currently in Astronomer's Visual Pack. It doesn't take all that much more extra memory in order to add them in, particularly if they are well optimized, if you know your way around the Unity engine as well as the Kerbal Space Program developers do. And so I think to add something like that, maybe, um, like I say, only thin clouds compared to um, perhaps what you see in some mods, um, such as Renaissance or um, such as Kerbal Space Program Astronomer's Visuals. Um, but if you only added something thin in like that, then I think it would it would still run pretty good, and it would also make the planets look a lot nicer. Uh, another thing I'd like them to add in is some sort of um, some sort of surface um, Easter eggs. Um, we know we already have like the Kraken and stuff like that, a Kraken on Bop. We have obviously the monuments on Kerbin and what have you, the the arches on the moon. Um, but if we add, if they added in something we could actually do in on the surfaces of these different worlds, um, even if it was just like make foxholes um, when we crash rockets into them, just like destructible terrain, I think that destructible terrain would change up the gameplay on Kerbal Space Program massively. Just think about going to Eve and then like smashing a hole. Um, right next to the coast and flooding it with uh, flooding it with water, and then you could build a base around that little that little um, sulfur whatever it is, that little sulfur ocean that you've created, that little pond, and you could use it as sort of like a scientific resort sort of thing. And I don't know about you, but that sort of seems really appealing to me, and um, just gives you a little bit more creativity with regards to what you can do with your ships. So I want to hear your comments down below guys, I want to know what you would add in, any game mechanics, any specific parts, like I say, don't make it too outlandish, like I don't know, 
I don't, I can't even think of anything too outlandish because to be honest, Kill Space Program is a laid back game, so they'd probably be open to um, any, pretty much anything if the community really demanded it. But like I say, just keep your, um, your, 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 your ideas, should I say, your ideas just slightly within reason, just because no one wants to see a flying cow with rainbows in it um, in K Kerbal Space Program. Or, or do they? I mean, that's that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. If there was a cow flying with rainbows, I 100% would recommend. Should we get on to the next story? Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. So yes, keeping with the discussion theme of this video, I wanted to get your guys' feedback with regards to this channel. Um, before I do though, I do want to give you guys, for you guys who missed it in last week's episode, a really massive thank you. Over the past 10 months or so, this show has grown both in itself and my channel extortionately. And it's all down to you guys, leaving your feedback in the comments down below, um, subscribing which I can't believe how many people have done, especially within the last few months. Our subscriber count has more than tripled, and it's just, it's amazing. And, like, I never thought I would get this far on YouTube. I realise, like I say, we are still a tiny channel with regards to some of the larger uh, channels at the, end of th at, um, at the end of the spectrum with Kerbal Space Program. But we are still growing in size. And I reckon as Kerbal Space Program goes up to 1.0, you guys are going to become even more awesome than you are at the moment. Which, believe me, is quite some feat. And, um... And I think you're going to be able to help this, this channel grow just as much as I like uh, putting the comment content out and helping to grow it in that way. But in order to do this, I wanted to get your guys' opinions on this sort of thing. If you wanted me to start different series on this channel, be it with other games, be it within Kerbal Space Program, what would those games be and what or what sort of series would you like me to carry out? I'm already thinking of doing a KSP Let's Play, and I know a lot of you want me to do it. It's going to be mildly modded, but I am waiting for the release of 1.0 before I actually start it. Um, obviously, KSP missions will continue. I'm going to aim to do one of them, uh, one or two of uh, missions per update. Um, although I can't really hold myself to that at the moment because I am in the middle of GCSEs. But yeah. I also have an upcoming collaboration, which I should be filming tomorrow night at some point. Um, I'm keeping the name of the person who's doing it uh, with me uh, secret for now. Um, although you probably would have seen him in the comments section, and he is a subscriber of mine. And so I'm, ho I'm hoping that it's going to be a lot of fun with that. We're going to be doing it in dark multiplayer. Um, but like I say, if you guys have any ideas for series that you want to do, either in Kerbal Space Program or within another game, such as Minecraft, or if you want to see a return of the Battlefield 4 content, I know I am making a Battlefield video to say farewell to Battlefield 4, um, which should be up later this week, should I get it edited and all that sort of stuff. Um, but if you want me to do any other series or su or, su or stuff of the such, then let me know in the comments down below uh, what sort of stuff you want me to do and like outline the concept that you have. Because who knows, I might just do it. I might just be that crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week's episode of Kerbal Space Program News, guys. Sorry that it wasn't perhaps as content-packed as it perhaps could have been. I have been strapped for time once again. It's pretty much going to be a weekly theme from now on because of exams and what have you. I've, I've just been so strapped for time that I had to do it this Monday rather than Sunday again. Hopefully this week it should be back to a normal Sunday, but like I say, I can't promise anything at the moment. Um, hopefully we should also have some proper news next week, and I really hope that's true um, because I've missed reporting on some awesome news for you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much going to round it off for this episode. Remember to like and subscribe for more. My name is Jin Lee Kerman and as always, stay classy.